All right, we made it inside, and I'm here with Tina, who is a really good friend and an XR pioneer. Also, one of the first ones to release an application for a special SDK. But for those of you who don't know, I know Tina pretty well. She's really well known in the XR industry. But could you introduce yourself, Tina? Sure, so my name is Tina. I'm a technical French entrepreneur, and I've been building AR and VR apps for 10 years now. I feel very privileged to have been working with uh, companies that are leading the industry in key areas such as creativity, productivity, and entertainment. And these days, I mostly experiment with uh, the newest generations of headsets and, of course, glasses. No, that's amazing. Tina has a lot of knowledge. And with that knowledge, could you explain what a special SDK is? Well, you know, special SDK is probably what you are looking for if what you plan to build looks more like a mobile app rather than a super immersive video game. Uh, you know, like these apps that are UI rich and maybe in a window, if you want that app to be to fit nicely within other apps in Horizon OS, then well, that that is the proper tool to use on uh, special SDK. Uh, as you know, Mark said yesterday, um, 3D engines like Unity. They're super great, but when it comes to app development, you may want to use a proper app development SDK, and special, special SDK is exactly what you want to use. No, I love that. So talking about special SDK, how do you see special SDK unlocking new possibilities for VR developers? Well, you know, back in France, I often take the train, and over the years, I've realized that um, like being able to immerse myself using a VR headset is a nice productivity hack. I can avoid any visual distractions. And imagine like uh, a document editing app in which I could pick an environment uh, to avoid any visual distraction. This kind of app, which is UI rich and has many editing features and where the 3D and immersiveness is kind of a secondary objective. Well, in this kind of situation, uh, Special SDK is so much easier to build that kind of app uh, rather than a 3D engine. And you know, if you're an Android developer and coming from mobile, you may already have built this type of app. So you could reuse your existing code base and extend the capabilities of your app with a special full screen immersive mode for Quest in which your users could be able to write without any distraction. No, I, lo I love that answer. And I know like a special SDK is one of those that when you hit play, it deploys automatically to the Quest and it's really, really instant. So lastly, an additional question. What are some use cases that you are super passionate about that you see a big potential for a special SDK? Well, you know, um, let's think about the future. And I've seen this in the past 10 years. Those headsets, they obviously tend to get lighter and more comfortable over time. And what would you like to do with those light and comfortable headsets? For me, it's um, productivity and entertainment. And I would love to have, let's say, an AI companion that automatically creates sticky notes for me and pin them on the wall back in my office so I cannot miss anything that's important about work. And when I come home, I would love to match an immersive documentary that leverages freely interactive assets and, let's say, well, immersive 180 videos. And these use cases are exactly the kind of apps you can build today with Special SDK. No, I love that. And Tina, thank you so much. You have a lot of experience in XR. I am a fan. But for now, thank you so much. Back to Kimberly.